Mark, first on WLWT, an over the Rhine apartment up in smoke, prompting a dramatic rescue, and it's all caught on camera. And now a two year old child is recovering in the hospital this evening. Fire crews thought they had the all clear after several other residents escaped, but that was not the case. WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa is live with this amazing rescue. Tammy? Curtis, amazing it is. Tonight, I spoke with the people living inside the apartment building here on Vine Street behind me, and they are thankful this wasn't worse. Now, at least 10 people, including eight children, had to be rescued from the windows as the smoke poured in. I was scared. And he said, don't look down. Don't step on the ice on the window ledge. He said, don't look down. And uh, I said, I can't do this. He said, you got to get out of here. He said, come on, lady, you could do it. Trapped on the third floor, hanging on a ladder 35 feet up in the air, Angie Hill was separated by a concrete sidewalk below and a burning building behind her. I turned around and I went, went out the window. It was the only way I was getting out of there, and I was going. When he said that, I was going. That was it. First responders say a fire had started from a second floor apartment. Then smoke spread to the floors above. Alarms went off and thick smoke took over the stairwell. You know, terrified, you know, everything running through your head. You're trying to stay calm because you have a, a child. You, you got to get out of there safely as possible. You know, I'm kind of still shook up about it because I've never actually been in something like this. Wilford was stuck on a fire escape in the back until first responders arrived. At least two other neighbors and eight children had no way to get out from the fourth floor. One by one, they were rescued on this ladder. We start seeing the faces at the window at the fourth floor, and as soon as they opened the windows, the smoke just poured out of there, and, and, then, and then it gets a little hairy. Fire investigators say a space heater too close to furniture sparked the blaze. Tonight, neighbors are just counting their blessings. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful that all the neighbors made it out. I'm grateful that the little baby made it safe, and I'm just thankful that we all could be here just another day, and thank God Almighty that he saved our lives today. Now, first responders tell me a two-year-old was rushed to Children's Hospital to be checked out for smoke inhalation, but she should be okay. Reporting live, Temi Mutasa, WLWT News 5. All right, thanks a lot, Tammy. And this footnote, the damage is estimated at $50,000.